If you want to be successful selling on Amazon FBA as a seller in 2021 and beyond, you really want to master the skill of PPC. I think that a lot of my success uh, becoming seven figure seller is being on top of my PPC campaigns, optimizing them and always learn new skills and techniques in the Amazon PPC space. In this video, we will cover Amazon PPC automatic campaigns and why you want to have them as part of your strategy so you can uh, be a successful seller and be ahead of your competitors. What's up guys, my name is Tomer from SourcingMonster.com and welcome to another video. And if it's your first time here and you want to learn more on how you can create your own business, your own Amazon FBA business and take it to the next level, scale it and be able to do it from anywhere in the world at any time that you want, then subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so for every new video that I release, you can get updates and keep yourself up to date. Another thing is that if you want to stay updated with all the latest updates and news that I don't share here on YouTube, go to sourcing-monster.com and subscribe to the newsletter because again, I share their tips and updates that I don't share here via emails. Um, and one last thing, if you want uh, to consult with me, you can do so by clicking the link in the description and book uh, a consulting call where I can look at products that you sell or give you advice from my experience and let's start with the video. Okay, so automatic campaign should be part of your Amazon PPC strategy. It's not going to replace a different type of campaign like manual, but it's going to be running simultaneously with the other type of campaigns like video ads, sponsored display, manual campaigns, because it serves different purpose from those type of campaigns, which we will cover uh, in the next point. So what are the advantages of automatic campaign? Why you want to have automatic campaign as far as, 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 far as your strategy um, with every campaign, every product that you advertise on Amazon PPC? Uh, you want to have like good amount of campaigns, every type of campaign. Now, automatic campaigns are very easy to set up, especially for PPC beginner. So I'll show next how to create it, but it's a process that don't really involve some research with competitor ASINs or uh, keywords. It's very easy. You just set it up, you create a campaign and you, the, the placements and you just start. And it's, again, it's very easy and I'll show it in the next point. Uh, it doesn't really require a lot of maintenance. With uh, manual keyword targeting campaigns, you have to adjust the bids always and be on top of things, check why those keywords didn't get impressions, increase bids, lower bids, uh, add negatives. With uh, those type of campaigns, with automatic campaigns, you don't have to do all this work. And it doesn't mean that you don't do any work, but the maintenance is much lower than uh, normal uh, keyword targeting campaigns. It's allow you to discover long tail keywords. That's the main purpose of this. Remember this. It allows you to discover new keywords and new placements that Amazon decides for you how to do it. So how basically automatic campaign work? You put the, you choose which product you want to advertise. You set the bid that you want for each placement. We will cover this later, but you have like close match, uh, lose match. You have like uh, complementary items. Uh, and all of these uh, uh, bids. And after you set the bids, Amazon decides based on your listing copy. And I'm not sure, but some people saying based on the image too, that they, they decide on who to show it uh, automatically, which is a big advantage because by doing so, you discover keywords that sometimes you didn't know that exist or you didn't know that they convert well. And once you see that they convert well, you can add them as a negative or just take this keyword and add it into a manual campaign or a ranking keyword campaign. Um, if you want me to make videos on how to do it, I can make, uh, but I'm pretty sure that we covered this in some previous videos. And the same with ASIN, you can discover new ASINs, new competitors, and, um, and that you didn't really know that there exists, okay? What are the disadvantages of automatic campaign? So it's hard to really pass the rank juice unlike manual keyword campaign because you don't really set specific bid for every keyword and Amazon decides for you where to show the ad. 
uh, you can't really increase the bid for a specific keyword and have it ranked through your PPC efforts. Um, but again, that's not what we're trying to achieve, so it's not a big deal. Limited control over bids for keywords and product listing ads. So you're limited because it's automatic targeting. You can't really tell Amazon, oh, for this ASIN or for this keyword, I want my ad to show up more by increasing the bids because it's automatic. Amazon decides where and how to show your ads. So the same with the other factors. You can't really know when and how it will show it and Amazon decides for you. And you have some limited control with how it's going to be showing, but you can uh, adjust your listing and play with the keywords that you have on your backend to optimize it better, uh, to show more frequently in some specific search terms that you would like. I'm not gonna cover this in this video though. How to start an automatic campaign? So I always like to start with low bid of like 0.40. Why I start low? Because with automatic, because Amazon decides for you how to spend the money, sometimes they can, be, they can just spend your budget uh, as a whole on just one keyword or one ASIN without you uh, really knowing. So when you start small, when you start with small bid, you can see how it reacts a day or after when you created a campaign and always adjust. But if you start high and then you check in two days and you see it spent like crazy amount of money, then you don't really have control. I always like to start low, whether it's automatic campaign or some other type of campaigns that I create or test, start low and scale while it's working uh, and while you optimize it. And uh, let's start and I'll show you how to create this uh, type of campaign. So of course we want to go to campaign manager advertisement and click on create campaign. We're going to choose this option, the sponsored product, name the campaign name, put budget. I like to put like $20 is fine. And then here we choose the automatic targeting, which is already there. I always like to choose the dynamic bids down and uh, down only. Um, and it's something that you should test. I didn't I actually test it for a good couple of months. Like what are the results here? But for my experience, um, it's not really great. Uh, ad group, you can call it whatever ad group that you want. You're going to choose the product and edit. And then here for automatic targeting, instead of having the set default bid, I always like to click on set the bids by targeting group. Okay, so what, what does it mean? So obviously close match bidding means that uh, let's say your product is hairbrush. So all the hairbrush terms and everything that is really related, um, uh, this is the bid for us. So on that one, you want to have your highest bid. So let's say 40. And then for lose match, that means that if someone wrote like hair shampoo, it's related, but it's a very loose match. So you want to have like significantly lower bid. I would put like something like 25 cents. For substitutes, I also like to put it the same as the close match or, you know, like uh, similar to that. And the uh, compliments, usually we don't get a lot of traffic here. I don't show, I don't know exactly where it's showing. According to Amazon, they say that they will show your ad to shoppers who view the detailed pages of products that complement your product. If your product is a uh, Dupler 400 count cotton sheet, we'll show an ad on detailed pages that include Queen Comforter and Feather Pillow. So they're gonna show it to complementary items. So, but for my ex, um, experience it doesn't really work that well and you don't get a lot of traffic but you can set it as the same bid as close match and then if you don't get enough traffic you can always increase it and play with it with the negative keyword targeting you can add some negative exact or negative phrase for things that you already know like for example if you know from your previous experience that on the manual campaign where you had like for example a broad match uh keyword and you, got, you know for sure that people don't like this term like black hairbrush because your hairbrush is blue. You want to add this color as black so you don't waste traffic and let Amazon, uh, because Amazon don't really know that your product don't convert well for black or it's not really a black item. So you want to really add it. You can also add negative product targeting. If you, from your experience, you know ASINs that don't really convert, you get ton of clicks, but they don't convert. You want to enter them as a negative product targeting here as well. And now I'll show you um, how to optimize an automatic campaign. Part of your uh, maintenance or optimizing your campaigns is checking that everything is working correctly and uh, boost those 
uh, placements that are doing well and lower bid adjusting bids basically for the placement because that's the only thing that you can have control over on automatic campaign of course you do have also the type of uh, adjusting like for top placements which i'll cover now but let's go and quit here and let's go to campaigns and find some auto campaign so auto and let's do last 30 days and then we have uh like for example this campaign and I'll show you what I meant with the top bidding. So adjust bing, bids by placement. So top of search, you can tell Amazon, look, for this type of campaign, whenever you think you, uh, I'm eligible to show on top of search, I'm allowing you to bid like 20% higher than my normal bid that we have here under the placements. Uh, so, sorry, here. So that's an additional thing that you can do. Now you can do so again for the uh, sponsored products campaigns as well. You can tell them on product pages, I want you to be 20% higher all the time. So here is the bids that I set here and here are the results as you can see. So for this type of campaign, we see clearly that for substitutes, the ACOS is 13% 13 with 11 cells. So we spent $22 and we get $164 in revenue in sales, which is a great A cost comparing to this one. So why should I put the same bid here? You know, so I will not dramatically, but I will increase it and test it out. And maybe in a couple of days, come back to here again and see, okay, it's the same rate. I'm going to increase it more. And here I know what is my break even A cost. So I'm not going to touch it. And my break even, uh, my break even a cost for this product is 30%. So as long as it's below 30%, I'm profitable. So I have no problem spent all day long this bid to get those sales because it's not just those sales that we're getting here. It's also affecting our rankings. So maybe you can't really pass a lot of link juice through uh, automatic campaigns, but it does uh, help you with some rankings and obviously discovering new keywords and you're profitable so uh it's no brainer so that's how you adjust this here for example i didn't get any clicks so i might like increase it a little bit by 50 cents and the same here so let's adjust this and also adjust this one and then in a couple of days i can come and see okay what's going on another thing is optimizing and grabbing keywords so i always i always like to sort it by the orders from top to uh, from high to low and then discover new keywords. So here are uh, ASINs, 19% ACOS. This one, 9% ACOS for this ASIN. So maybe I would want to add those this ASIN, take it, grab it and add it to a dedicated sponsored product display campaign with a higher bid so I can show more frequently. Um, the same with some search terms that I see that they are converting very well. Like for example, this one, um, actually, it's not good. This one, well, we got one cell with 3.42 ACOS, amazing, but it's only one cell and one click. So for me, it's not enough data. And from my experience, sometimes you can take this keyword because you see 3.42% ACOS, amazing, uh, and bid $1 for it. But when you bid $1, the conversion rate is not that high. And also Amazon decides for how come that one click and one cell, you know, they also have in their AI machine a way to know, okay, this guy from our, all the data that we gathered, if we show him this head, there is a very high chance that they will purchase it. So you have to really uh, like act with caution when you actually grab keywords from here. Make sure that you have enough like 10 clicks data to work before you go all in and bid very uh, aggressively on specific keyword or ASIN. So that's it for the automatic campaign. I hope you understand it better and you will implement it as part of your strategy in your PPC efforts so you can stay ahead of your competitors. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel if you didn't subscribe. With any comments, you can leave them down below or questions and I will reply personally. And thank you for watching again. I'll see you in the next video.